G'day guys, it's Wangi here from Wild Spirit Adventures and I'm really excited to be uh, walking you guys up to Mount Kilimanjaro, um, part of the Mark Hughes Foundation. So guys, this is going to be an incredible journey. I've done Mount Kilimanjaro before and I have to say it is one of my hardest challenges that I've ever done. But to stand on the summit of the mighty Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa, is one of the most awe-inspiring uh, moments in my life. But guys, it takes a lot of preparation to get there. This is a really, really hard journey. We're going to get up to 5,895 meters above sea level. We're going to be summiting at 1 a.m. in the morning. We're going to leave camp for a six hour slog, more than nearly a thousand meters of altitude, up to the, more than a thousand meters of altitude, up to the rim of Mount Kilimanjaro, and then a further hour and a half past that point. You need to get used to walking in the dark. You need to get used to the fact that your body is going to be functioning on less than 50% oxygen. Guys, I reckon um, oxygen at sea level is overrated anyway. So those guys that are doing the training in the altitude room, keep that up. Do lots of lunges, swimming, sprint training. Do whatever you need to do. This is going to be one big endurance event. The more training you do, the more you're going to enjoy this incredible journey. Guys, I'll be back later on to talk about gear. Need any, you need to ask any questions, just give us a yell at... Um, at, at Wild Spirit and we'll talk you through the issues. Keep up the great work guys, see you soon. Ciao. Hey guys, Wangi here from Wild Spirit Adventures again. Guys, we're gonna talk about some gear for our upcom upcoming adventure up to Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, gonna do over a couple of sections so it doesn't take too long. But one of the most important you're gonna need is dry bags to keep all your clothes and all your bits and pieces in on this journey up the track. So available for many of the, the good shops. You're gonna need a minus 15 degree sleeping bag. It's gonna be icy, icy cold on top of the mountain. I want you to think about what it'd be like to be isolated um, in the snow fields. You're going to be sleeping in the tent, so it gets really, really cold. With the sleeping bag, you need a sleeping, a, a cotton inner to keep you warm as well. A pillow is absolutely essential as well to try and get some rest in these difficult conditions up there on the mountain. Guys, out of, out of wear for your hands is really, really important. You need a, a pair of inner gloves, like socks, to go with your outer gloves. That's how cold it's going to be up there. And a pair of gloves just for around camp as well is really, really important. Walking poles, absolutely essential to have good walking poles, specifically for coming downhill more than going uphill, to take the pressure off knees and joints and things like that. Sunglasses, really important. The glare up there on the mountain is, um, is, is quite strong, coming off the glacier of, of, of the mighty Mount Kilimanjaro there. So take yourself two pairs of, of glasses, really, really important there as well. Hydration is really important on the trap. I use water bottles, um, and I'll have three water bottles simply because of the reason we need to fill up the water in the morning, which will be boiled water, but I also purify the water with purification tablets there as well. Or you can use the bladder. Whatever your preference is, train with it and get used to it. You'll need a day pack to carry your water and a small medical kit, your camera, and some snacks in that as you go up the mountain there. Power packs, really important as well. There's no power on Mount Kilimanjaro. So take multiple power packs to charge your phones, uh, charge your cameras and things like that. Extra spare batteries for your headlight torches that you need as well. Because uh, up there on the mountain in the cold, everything loses its power really, really quickly. So you need to keep it insulated and have backup plans for losing power and things like that. Guys, also, we're gonna be carrying all our gear, or, or the porters gonna be carrying all our gear in a 120 litre duffel bag, waterproof duffel bag, which you can get from any of the outdoor stores like Anaconda or Katmandu and things like that. Guys, check out our gear list, we've actually got a very comprehensive gear list. Go for that and, and check it off as you're going through. I'll be back later to talk about clothing and shoes and things like that. G'day guys, Wangi here again, and here I'm down at my local Anaconda store and checking out shoes for upcoming the Mark Hughes Foundation Mount Kilimanjaro trek. Really important to get the, the footwear correct for this journey because it's going to be icy cold on the mountain. There's possibly going to be snow and sleet and water. So my preferred shoes are the Merrill, and I'm actually going with an adventure style boot that's got the nicely enclosed um, leather out on this, which will give me greater protection for my feet. If you don't like the Merrill brand, you can also sort of run with a, a Salomon or a high tech. Get into the, into the store and have a look and see what sort of boots suit you. Make sure you're getting them a couple of sizes larger than what you need because you're going to be wearing up to two to three pairs of socks with those shoes as we get higher up the mountain at the top there. You're also going to need yourself a pair of casual shoes just around camp as well. Thongs aren't going to cut it because it's going to be too cold. So if you've got a nice pair of sand shoes or whatever you need up there on the mountain, make sure you've got nice comfortable footwear as well, guys. Get into the store, check out your shoes, and make sure they're nice and comfortable and with a great grip on them. Cheers, guys. See you soon. 
G'day guys, Wang here again, and how good's down the corner store? It's like going to Bunnings. Absolutely fantastic, been out here on the Saturday morning doing some stuff. Guys, here's the bag you can get from Anaconda. This is 120 litres, absolutely perfect for Kilimanjaro. You can get them in all sorts of different colours. It's gonna, all your gear's gonna fit in this. It's waterproof and gonna do the job perfectly. One of the things you actually need to get as well is a self-inflating mattress. These are a little beauty. Um, they're a full length one. It's gonna give you some extra comfort on the mountain and, um, and keep you nice and comfy as we go along. And here is the big minus 15 degree sleeping bag that you're going to need. Also available from Anaconda. It's going to keep it nice and warm on the mountain as well. Back to you soon, guys. Cheers. G'day, guys. Wang here again. Just showing you some of the clothes that we'll be wearing on our Mount Kilimanjaro climb. This is actually the outfit I'll start with. I'll be just wearing the, the, a cool, dry shirt to start with and just shorts. And if it gets really cold, I'll probably go and wear um, some, some skin, some compression skin underneath that. Just need a lightweight shirt there as well, just to get you through the initial parts of the day. And then also, these are fantastic for, for these adventures as well. These are zippable pants. So you've got long pants to, to put over the top of your skins. You can also take the legs off if it gets nice and warm there as well. Some of the things I like to do when we're going on this journey as well, I've got a couple of soft couple of fleeces that are zippable. So you can zip down and zip up depending on the temperature of the day and load yourself up or take this stuff off. Really easy and really good, nice warm. Puffer jacket, really important on the puffer jacket. This is going to be used on the coldest day and probably on summit night, and also going to be used for around camp there as well. Really, really important. Um, on this journey as well, we'd like you to get a little bit of snow and possibly a bit of rain. So outer core, um, Gore-Tex pants, or, or weatherproof pants are really, really essential for this journey there as well. They are the last bit of clothing that you'll put on, and they're going outside of everything else that you've got going on there. And of course, the weatherproof Gore-Tex jacket, or just a really nice weatherproof jacket is going to do the job there as well. Guys, you're gonna need these towels as well. These towels are fantastic for uh, the quick drying towels. You need two of these for the journey there as well, just to wipe yourself down each day. And of course, really important that you have a headlight torch. In actual fact, you have two headlight torches, one as a backup, because you're gonna be walking for more than six hours on the mountain on the summit night there as well. Cheers guys, talk to you soon.